those cultures should have been back by now for testing. Excuse me, what did you say? No, no, I don't need to chill, okay? You need to get me the things that I need when I need them. So I'm coming over now. Those cultures better be ready by the time I get there. going, Robin. You're on ER, right? Yeah. A biker was just admitted he skid out on a water main leak. Ouch. I'm on his right shoulder. Class three separation. I'm gonna need help. Okay. I'm available. Okay. Uh, why don't you two uh, put your heads together and we'll conference when I get back. Sure. So what do we got? Dream job for an orthopedic. Oh, class three? I've been itching for a class three. Yeah, complete with two tears. You want to scrub in? Yeah. Great. I'll meet you in your room. Okay. Oh, Dr. Treadow, I've been, uh, been looking for you. Do you remember that Lindsay boy? Uh, Terry, yeah. Great kid. Uh, yeah. Nightmare mother. Yeah, well, no kidding. Well, apparently she's furious with you. Me? Why? Uh, well, she says that her son can't try out for Little League because of the hatchet job he performed on his wrist. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm gonna have to call her later to straighten this out. I've got a surgery. Oh, well, I can do it. <laughs> Are you tug of war? Are you serious, like? I really want the surgery. Okay, Mrs. Lindsay said her next call will be her attorney. If you're gearing up to offer me a bribe, you might want to be smarter than that, because I have no problem arresting you right here in the ICU. Mm, bribes are so bush league. Besides, I don't want a cop on my payroll. I want Lucky Spencer. <laughs> what are you suggesting? I quit the force, work for you? Uh, ten times the pay, ten times the freedom. Freedom, when was the last time you had a good taste of some of that, huh? Wouldn't you rather laugh with the sinners than die with the saints? is going to come here to take your statement. This is the lady you cannot forget, see? Are you a psychic or something? <laughs> Experienced. Huh? Bellissima. That's what I said the first time I met her. She was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Mm. Love at first sight, huh? Mm. I don't know. I don't know what you call it, but it was a powerful pull like nothing that... I've ever felt before. And I knew she, you know, she could never really be mine. You still feel that way? Well, Brenda invested a lot in me, and she deserved more and better than she got back, but she was very tenacious. <laughs> she would not give you up so easy. Yeah. She loved me. And uh, that was it. She wasn't going anywhere. We tried, we failed, we tried. But I, Brenda and I, we could never just get it right. And we could never quite let go. Yay! We made it home safe and sound. Until next time, we have to venture out into the dreaded public. What's wrong with you? You know. We need to have a conversation. Wow, okay, that sounds very serious. I might need fortification. Do you want to try one of my pears? No, I don't want to try one of I think you do. I think you want one of my organic please? pears that I got at the open air market today. They are incredible. Yeah, I know. You went all the way to the Piazza San Casimato. Yeah. How'd you know that? Suzanne called me. She's worried about you, and with good reason, because there's some bad guys oh, who want to bring harm I'm to you, sorry. and you can't pay attention to that? <laughs> I'm sorry, what do you mean Suzanne called you? Why is Suzanne calling you and talking to you about my personal whereabouts? I mean, she's some girl I work with. Suzanne she's is my looking life. out for you. And that's a good thing, because you apparently can't seem to be bothered by that. Brenda, if you're not careful, you're going to get yourself killed. This is the woman we're looking for.